Hey folks, today we are talking about training Marco sticks that actually work. You can print them out yourself if you have a 3D printer. Else, you can use any number of third-party print shops that will do this for you. Expand the video description to see detailed information. Before we begin, please make sure that you have already watched the episode on how to use chopsticks with the standard grip. All chopsticks presented in this video teach the standard grip. In addition, that previous video on standard grip also explains why we call chopsticks Marco sticks. For more information, please go to marcosticks.org. That previous episode taught you how to use the standard grip. Well, fast forward through the process. Basically, the Model T training marker sticks allow you to shortcut that learning process. It lets you concentrate on the tripod hold, as shown here. The bottom marker stick is always there for you, in the right place. The coupling joint is designed to force the top marker stick to follow exactly the path that is prescribed by the standard grip. In this slow motion clip, you can see the top Marco stick rotate around its longitudinal axis. The air quote gesture made by the index finger and the middle finger will tilt the top Marco stick even as they rotate it. Let's take a look at this twirling of the top Marco stick by the air quote gesture again. This time we compare it to the same motion made by the same hand with a pair of plain Marco sticks. Training Marco sticks are unique. There was nothing on the market that taught the standard grip. No learning chopsticks ever allowed fingers to twirl the top chopstick using planetary gear principles. Next up, we have the Model H finger helper bars. These are designed to help learners whose thumb movements are constrained by anatomical limitations. As it turns out, some lifelong users of Marco sticks are unable to flex their thumb into this particular position. Unfortunately, this flattened flexed thumb pose is needed in order for the hand to secure both Marco sticks. This is where finger helpers come in. They come in two flavors. The ring finger helper, as shown here, adds distance between the bottom Marco stick and the knuckle of the ring finger. It allows the thumb to remain bent, yet still be able to securely hold both Marco sticks. The thumb helper operates in similar manner. Here is a lifelong Marco Sticks user trying the ring finger helper for the very first time. Note the bent thumb that this user is unable to flatten. This user understands intellectually the planetary gear train principles, but he has never been able to successfully twirl Marco Sticks that way because of the bent thumb. Now, with the ring helper, Mounted on training Marco sticks, he's finally able to carry out physically what he intellectually knows very well. Model E Ergonomic Marco sticks. These are designed for intermediate users. Low profile protrusions on both sticks help with the initial placement of fingers. Known as ergonomic nuggets. These low-profile protrusions guide fingers throughout the twirling motion of both sticks. Parts of the top nugget serve as limit signals on the rotation of the top Marco stick at both ends of its 90-degree rotation. For gripping sticks, as far as finger skins are concerned, ergonomic Marco sticks feel exactly the same as plain Marco sticks. As a result, ergonomic Marco sticks 
offer the same dexterity, finesse, reach, speed, and power as plain Mario sticks. Yet, they look almost indistinguishable from plain Mario sticks. Therefore, they do not invite unwanted stares at eating situations. Don't forget, you can print out these training Marco sticks on your own 3D printer. Head over to marcosticks.org to find 3D model files. You'll find additional information in the video description 